senior, seniors who are also part of the choir, please come forward. Ladies and gentlemen, please silence your cell phones and stand for the national anthem sung by Hermerson High School Chamber Choir and directed by Miss Jordan Bemrose. Thank you, Ms. Bemrose and, and Chamber Choir students. That was excellent. Next, I would like to introduce Mr. Riker McDonald to give this evening's welcome. Good evening, everybody. I'm going to be honest before we get started. Uh, to calm down your nerves, they tell you to uh, picture everybody naked. It was working until I saw my dad in the first row. <laughs> And now I'm scared to even finish this speech, but we're going to do it anyways. I would like to start by welcoming all the parents, friends, and family members in attendance tonight. Without your love and support, we wouldn't be here for this momentous occasion. Second, I would like to welcome the staff and members of the Hermeson School District. Through your work, encouragement, and nagging, you helped us through four years unlike any other in the school's history. And most importantly, I'm excited to welcome you, my classmates of the graduating class of 2022. What an honor it is to welcome the best class Hermiston High School has ever produced, in my humble opinion. My fellow classmates, what the heck happened these past four years? 
the unthinkable occurred. Pandemic, COVID-19, online school. Worst of all, Fran dyed his hair blonde. <laughs> These past four years have been composed of trials and tribulations. Trying to stay awake during online class, toughest thing I've ever done. Nothing made me more embarrassed than being the last person still in an online class after I fell asleep. Sorry, Mr. Blackburn, it happened a few times. Our high school career has been one of the most confusing and unclear experiences in this school's history. And yet, all of you guys made it here ready to receive a diploma because of your ability to navigate the obstacles that lie through your way. I'm most proud of our class because we showed up this year. The energy that our band and student section brought to almost every sporting event this year was something to die for. Nothing made my heart more happy than taking a Reuter bus up to these Seattle schools and watching our girls basketball team whoop the, whoop them, whoop these Seattle teams in basketball. Man, that was so much fun. <laughs> On the other hand, the football team, hey, we played a lot of Division I recruits. Give yourself a pat on the back still for that one. But our class st stepped up and put together events like canned food drive, blood drives, and all of you guys did the best part of it, and that was showing up and supporting us through everything we did this year. So class of 2022, take pride in our class accomplishments and the culmination of 12 years of blood, sweat, and tears. Your perseverance to the unknown has brought you to this point. So enjoy every moment because each and every one of you guys deserve it. I'm done. Yeah. Next, I would like to introduce Maria Jose Flores Carvajal to give the Spanish welcome. Estamos aquí celebrando 12 años de esfuerzo, 12 años de aprendizaje, madurez y crecimiento. Estamos aquí no solo celebrando el final de una de las etapas más importantes de nuestra vida, pero también dando el primer, el, el primer paso para el comienzo de nuestro futuro. Pero hoy, más que nada, también lo estamos celebrando ustedes, a los padres, a los hermanos, amigos y maestros y a todos aquellos que estuvieron de nuestro lado en esta jornada. Aquellas que lo dieron todo porque nosotros, para que nosotros estuviéramos, estuviésemos aquí logrando nuestros sueños. Gracias al apoyo y a la educación que nos brindaron, hemos podido lograr ser las personas que somos ahora. Gracias a la inmensa cantidad de amor que nos brindan incondicionalmente para ayudarnos a seguir adelante. El estar aquí hoy se lo dedicamos a ustedes. Por enseñarnos que vale la pena intentar, por enseñarnos a vivir y a disfrutar. Para nuestra generación, rendirse nunca ha sido una opción. Desde chicos nos han enseñado a echarle ganas y levantarnos si, no, si nos caemos. Estos cuatro años de preparatoria nos han enseñado muchas cosas. Desde sobrevivir una pandemia hasta, hacer, hasta poder encontrarnos a nosotros mismos y decidir qué queremos hacer con nuestro futuro. Como parte de la comunidad hispanohablante e inmigrante, sé que muchas veces sufrimos de muchos obstáculos. Sé que ser parte de una minoría viene con sus luchas, pero también sé que somos fuertes. Aprendí de mis padres que no hay límites para nada, que no hay fronteras ni líneas que definan a dónde pueda llegar y que lo único que tengo que hacer es intentar. Si me hubieran dicho hace cuatro años que estaría aquí arriba, no me lo hubiera creído. Tener la oportunidad de emigrar a este país y de superarme a mí misma ha sido una bendición. Estar aquí me ha demostrado que la familia, los valores propios y la educación son más importantes que las cosas materiales. Y el hecho de estar presente alrededor de todos ustedes me hace sentir como si no me hiciera falta nada. Y aunque sea un poco nostálgico que después de este día no vería a muchos de ustedes y que cada quien vaya por su propio camino, el simple hecho de, estar, de ser parte de la clase del 2022 me hace sentir muy orgullosa y como con una experiencia increíble que siempre llevaré conmigo. Gracias y bienvenidos. Now I would like to introduce you to Tom Spoo, principal of the Herm Hermiston High School. Thank you. 
Good evening, senior class of 2022, parents, family members, and staff who are fortunate to be here this evening and are watching via live stream. We're here this evening to honor our students and recognize the fact that they have made it. At the conclusion of this ceremony, 335 Hermerson High School graduates will walk across this stage. Before we get started, I would like to recognize several people and groups for their contributions to all that we celebrate. Would you please stand as I call your name? Dr. Trisha Mooney, Superintendent of Hermerson School District. Mr. Jake Bacon, Assistant Superintendent. Our School Board Chairman, Mr. Josh Goller. Vice Chair, Ms. Karen Sherman. Second Vice Chair, Ms. Jenny Holthus. Board Members, Mr. Brian Medellis. Mr. Dane Gardner, Ms. Bonnie Luisi, and Ms. Sally Hansel. Teachers, classified employees, and administrators, all of you have worked hard over the past 13 years inside and outside of the classroom to provide our graduates with a premier educational environment that has prepared them for their post high school lives. Can we please have a round of applause for all the Hermiston School District employees? As a district, we also recognize how important our, our parent partnerships are. Without your unwavering support of the students, none of this would be possible. Would the parents in the stands please, and the bleachers, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> parents, please stand, all of you. I didn't see a lot of parents stamp. That tells me you have a lot, a lot of other family support here. That's what that tells me. So this was certainly another year of change and uncertainty, though less than last year. For all of our students, parents, community members, and in this case, those seniors sitting in front of me today, one of the changes and a revelations that I've come to is that no one came here today to listen to a speech from the principal. The likelihood of you remembering what is said this evening is slim. You came here to celebrate the fact that your sons and daughters reached a milestone called high school graduation. With that said, it is my humble honor to be your principal and to have the privilege to stand in front of you this evening. My faith in the American youth of today is stronger now than ever. I've had the opportunity to watch you persevere and in many cases excel in spite of COVID-19, the world of politics, both home and abroad. The class of 2022 is accomplished in academics, activities, and athletics. In terms of significant academic recognition this year, we are naming 20 valedictorians. They have all earned a per perfect 4.0 grade point average as well as their honors diploma. You can recognize them as they were the valedictorian medals. In addition to those 20 individuals, 20 others, a total of 32 students, have earned their honors diplomas, an indication that they, that they have met the most rigorous standards. They are identified, identified by the honors medallion around their neck. 226, this is a record by the way, students have completed a program of study. Program completers are wearing the stole color of their program. You will notice by, by stoles that many of the students have completed more than one program of study. We have nine students, also a, a, a high for the last several years, of students who have met the standards to allow them to, admit into the, to be admitted into the military in one of four different service branches. These students are identified by, identified, identified by the red, white, and blue cords they are wearing. And lastly, financially, the class of 2022 has qualified for and earned over 1.7 million in scholarships. What's significant about this, of those funds, 250,000 are from Hermerson area organizations. Next, I would like to introduce Mr. Connor Roberts to give the class history. Okay, 
as I give this speech, is a recounting of our past, so that we remember all that we have overcome to get here. We went through a global pandemic and will be the first class to graduate with a full commencement ceremony since the class of 2019. We started in the early 2000s as kids who grew up playing the Wii, DSs, and Xbox 360s. Technology was a factor in who we become, but not a defining factor of who we would be. We would meet out in those green electrical boxes, and that was when you knew it was time to have some fun. I remember my first phone being a flip phone, and you had to push the number two button three times to type the letter C. We started in five different elementary schools, which became two middle schools, and then one high school. For me, I went to Sunset for kindergarten and first grade, and then moved to Rocky Heights for the rest of elementary. In elementary school, we had those winter concerts where every year, for two months straight, we practiced the same songs over and over again. Then we moved on to middle school. Desert View, West Park, and Rocky Heights moved on to Arm and Larvie, and Highland Hills and Sunset went to Sandstone. For middle school, Armin and Sandstone competed against each other in a friendly rivalry, and we learned and we grew and we developed. Then we moved on to high school. Finally, the whole grade was in one school. Freshman year, we got acquainted with one another. We could take a few electives to see what program of study we wanted to pursue. And then sophomore year, we could start taking more advanced classes. We could try out for varsity, no longer stuck in JV. We could take more electives and start our program of study. The school was ours to claim. Then, on March 13th, 2020, we went home for a two-week break. We didn't come back for the rest of our sophomore year and most of our junior year. As juniors, we had online school, and where some of us thrived, most of us struggled. Another, and then finally, we got to come back to school. We had to wear masks, keep a six-foot distance from each other, and the first sign of any sort of sickness had everybody on edge. We finished junior year well enough, but it wrecked most of our GPAs, study habits, and the ability to turn in work on time. Summer of the last year felt like it was one big joke. Like at any second, they'd say, school start on Monday and be ready to come back to class. Ironically, it did end up starting back. We did end up coming back to school. It was because the new school year had started. Our senior year. For our senior year, we had properly learned how to be back in a, an environment with other people, how to interact and learn, and until the middle of March, we had to wear masks. And after that, it became optional. We got to see each other's faces for the first time in two years, and it made a huge difference. School, it felt like it was getting back to as, as normal as a high school could be. Life was setting in and things were starting to change for the better. The 13 years of school from elementary to middle to high school all led up to this point. Our environment, our family, our friends, and everything we've learned is preparing us for our future. But that's enough about the past, it's time to look to the future. And to present our future, I'd like to introduce Hunter McDonald to give our class prophecy. Thank you. Hey y'all, how we doing? <laughs> Woo! Alrighty, so I would first like off to start off by telling you guys one of my core memories of when I first came here in elementary school and first grade. So I befriended a group of girls at Desert View who really like to chase guys. Let's just say that. Um, but in particular, I remember one person specifically, Cadence Bauer, and she yelled at me to run quick. And so I did. And to be honest, in a sense, I feel like we all have. Everyone amongst the sea of purple caps and gowns has gotten up and ran to their goals even through all of the obstacles we have faced. However, this is just the beginning of our future for the class of 2022. For, from this point, the resilience our class has obtained through these four interesting years of school will continue on with us. We will continue to push on with our passions and desires. We will reach out to new opportunities and grab every single one. This class will continue to thrive. However, I'm not saying every day will be rainbows and sunshine. There will be new struggles that will arrive as life comes. And that could be from living off of ramen, weeks on end in college, or just trying to fill up your tank with the way gas prices are. But if we have come this far, what can really hold us back? Thank you. Oh. I would also now like to introduce Dr. Trisha uh, Mooney, superintendent of the school. Class of 2022, you hold a special place in my heart. For 18 years, I have watched you grow and change. From the first days of kindergarten, through missing front teeth, the awkward middle school years, to the amazing young adults that sit in front of me today. You have suffered heartache and defeat. You have celebrated wins and become champions. You have loved and you have lost. 
through it all, you have changed. You have also changed Hermiston High School and the Hermiston School District. We are better because of you. You have taught us to persevere because you did. You have been online and offline, masked and unmasked, physically distanced and not physically distanced. You brought school spirit back. You have made friendships that will last a lifetime. You have laughed and you have cried and you have laughed until you've cried. You've pranked and Mr. Spoo tried to prank you. You've learned life lessons and you have taught life lessons. One of those lessons is to be honest with yourself and with others. So I need to be honest with you. Hunter, for the last four years, the school delays and closures have not been because of your recommendations. And while I haven't always appreciated your input, I will miss it. And you, each of you. As you move on to your next chapter, know that you leave big, fashionable shoes to fill. And while we won't be the same without you, I know that the world needs more of you, more of your smile, more of your laugh, and more of your kindness. As you go out and change the world, never forget, you will always be a bulldog, and you can always come home. I would next like to introduce Mr. Josh Goller, School Board Chair. Good evening, and on behalf of the School Board, I would like to extend our appreciation to you for granting us the privilege of being a part of this wonderful event, celebrating the Hermiston High School Class of 2022. Each of our graduates have worked incredibly hard to reach this point. We are so very proud of you on reaching this important milestone in each of your lives. As I considered what to include in my remarks this evening, I found myself dwelling on a well-known African proverb that I think is especially appropriate for this occasion, and I'm certain you all are likely familiar with it. It takes a village to raise a child. Graduates, I encourage you to take a moment to look around this arena tonight. Look around at the tremendous number of people here to celebrate you. Look at the teachers surrounding you on the floor and those seated in the stands that have invested so much of themselves into you. Look out to your parents, family members, friends, and loved ones who helped you to reach this point. They are here to celebrate you. Tonight, your village is here. It has seen you through both calm waters and stormy seas. It has been there for you during hard times and times of celebration. And they are here for you tonight. And it is my hope that as you receive your diploma tonight, you will commit to three things. First, I encourage you to receive your diploma with a spirit of gratitude. It is undeniable that you have worked hard to reach this point. You have good reason to celebrate your accomplishments today, but I would encourage you to thank those in your village that helped you and supported you to reach this point. While this achievement is yours, it is not yours alone. Be sure to thank those who helped you to get here and that have invested in your success. Second, I implore you to use the skills and the tools that you have learned to do good in your village. Pay forward the investment that those seated around you here tonight have made in you. For many of you, your journey may take you to new places, both near and far, where you may become a part of a new village. For others, you may remain closer to home. But in any event, form deep roots so that you can grow wherever you are planted, and then do your part to make sure the village that you are a part of is better than the way you found it. Lastly, I urge you to move forward with confidence and boldness. While receiving your diploma is the capstone achievement of your high school career, there is still so much to your story that is yet to be written. While this chapter of your story may be ending, there are still many, many more chapters that are yet to come. 
Your story will certainly have many plot twists and turns ahead, but it is one that is to be lived out in community, in your village. Rely on those around you for support and encouragement and know that no matter where your story takes you, this Hermiston village will continue to be there to celebrate your accomplishments and triumphs and to support you when things get difficult. As you graduate from high school today, your village celebrates you and your accomplishments. And we now send you out into the world to pursue your hopes and dreams. Congratulations on completing this important milestone in your life. We wish each of you the very best for your future. And so now, Mr. Spoo, on behalf of the Hermiston School District Board of Education, it is my distinct pleasure to accept the graduating class of 2022 for the presentation of their diplomas. Thank you, Mr. Goller. Honor Guard, would you please begin releasing the class of 2022? Parents, family, and friends, please bear with us for a couple of moments while we prepare the stage for the diploma presentation. I would like to start by thanking everyone once again for attending today, this evening, and for your continued support for the past several years as together we watched our future generation grow into the young adults that they are today. Parents, as students move behind the stage, they will have their photos taken with a, with a diploma cover. They will have another photo of them taken receiving their diploma on the stage. And remember, seniors, please smile, unlike what some of you did last night where I think you were nervous, but please smile. They have another photo of them taken <clears throat> receiving their diploma on the stage, as I said. Presenting the diplomas this evening will be our board members. After the ceremony is over this evening, you will be able to meet with the graduates outside on the east end for pictures. And once again, for those of you that are directly challenged, it's on this end of the building. Um, and that'll take approximately 40, and that'll be approximately 45 minutes from now. Project graduation, those participating in project graduation will load buses at the roundabout, which is also on the same end of the building, and travel to uh, the Tri-City Court Club for this evening's activities after graduation. Those traveling to Hermerson on a bus, uh, you will load directly in front of the main doors on this side here to my right, uh, and that, once again, will be approximately 45 minutes after the conclusion of the ceremony. So we will give the, uh, the students, our former graduates, our current graduates, I should say, um, a chance to change their clothes, et cetera, to get on the bus. All right. Hold on there, no, I don't think so. Test? Hello, all right. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Yep, right here. Itzel Guadalupe Alatore Ledesma. <laughs> Makara Sam Reth. Thank you. Maria Jose Flores Carvajal, graduating with honors. Carly Rianne White. Jessica Chavez Chayrez, honors and valedictorian. <laughs> Ingrid Noemi Mendoza. Okay. Karina Mendoza Madrigal, honors. Thank you. Carly Rayan Sean. Okay. Hunter Neil McDonald with honors. Janelle Mayra Torres. Cadence Nicole Bauer. <laughs> Melanie De Jesus Evila. 
Riker. Riker Xavier McDonald, honors and valedictorian. Jasmine Eileen Ortega. Marcus Earl Weinbarger. Pablo Reynaldo Camarillo. Connor Ivan Roberts, honors and valedictorian. Jaden Oscar Ramirez. Addison Quinn Kaplinger, honors and valedictorian. Tealy Ann Burke. Tyler P. Lynn, honors and valedictorian. Malena Charlize Anderson. Grace Annette Lind, honors and valedictorian. Cambry Dean Baker. Julissa Sanchez Lopez. Rami Athir Hosey. Sydney Elise Sanchez. Horacio Zurita, honors and valedictorian. Judith Montserrat Chavez Flores, honors. Isaac Guardado Rodriguez. Maritza Pavana. Thank you. Nathan Swartwood Boyer. <laughs> Cheyenne Marie Fitzgerald. <laughs> Carter McKay Errett, honors. <laughs> Laney Lee Bird. <laughs> Joseph Robert Ferguson. Caitlin R. Anderholm, honors. Alexis Giselle Alvarez. Jasmine Lay, honors and valedictorian. Ana Cristina Ayona Coquera. Bailey Joe Young, honors. Clayton Jacob Gibbons. <laughs> Ashley Garcia Sandoval, honors valedictorian. <laughs> Evelyn Romero Anguiano. <laughs> Avery Morgan Zumwalt. <laughs> Anna Karen Gutierrez. <laughs> Helen Dawn Cooley. <laughs> Giselle Herrera Cisneros. <laughs> Hannah Grace Melville, honors and valedictorian. Faith A. Powell. Caleb James Finn. <laughs> Leanne E. Warren. Janelle Godinez, honors valedictorian. Zeferino Araiza. Catherine Grace Haight. Kaylee Jarelli Nava Galarza. Maria del Carmen Casas. Okay. 
Brizera Nicole Munoz Rodriguez. Andrea Amalia Perez Mendoza. Okay. Ashlyn Leanne Hall. Okay. Shaylee Renee Morgan. Derek Devon. Okay. Natalia Corinne Marquez. Okay. Caden Dane Hotman with honors. Okay. Risa Louise Powell. Hunter Cole Dyer. Kayleen Sue Cummings. Caitlin Mary Heideman. <laughs> Andrea Avila Munoz. Lillian Rose Antoinette Chase with honors and valedictorian. Sydney Sue Ann Sievert. Marcos Jesus Preciado. Isela Zumaya. Andres Cisneros Murguia. Camille Corinne Stokes. Ricardo de Robles. Oloria Anor Uzel. Celine L. Carrera Espinoza. Alina Yareli Viegas. Antonio Carrillo Alatorre. Anna Cristina Chacon. Vincent L. Trevino. Yahir Ernesto Garcia. Logan Isaac Villanueva Ayala. Gavin John Doherty with honors and valedictorian. Francisco Rivera Atilano. Jesse David Vassi. Thomas Joseph Asher Reagan. Aliyah Marie Vassi with honors. Jansen Page Rathel. Grant W. Anderson with honors and valedictorian. Anna E. Herrera. Tressa Jalyn Sue Hanforth with honors and valedictorian. Lillian Presley Cook. Koi Owen Mikami with honors and valedictorian. Andrew Wesley Guerrero. Hector Isparza. Thais Giselle Ibarra. Valerie Rios. Victoria Mendez. Grace Abigail Vertries. Leila Itzel Juarez. Malin Melody Tavi. Giselle Ordaz Garcia. Carlos Martinez Lopez. 
Brenna Jolice McPherson. Emmanuel Hernandez. Jocelyn. Jocelyn K. Morrison. Mark Anthony Buzio Lopez. Morgan Rochelle Brown. Edward Angel Rodriguez. Iseka Charity Sapeni. Samantha J. Steffi. Sergio Antonio Obispo Hernandez. Ryan William Brooks. Charlie J. Bones. Bones. <laughs> Ryan Edmund Canton. Priseda Marlent Ayala. Aurelio Marin Garavito Jr. Isabel Cristina Arredondo Flores. Xander James Hasty. Zoe Alexis Douglas. Sebastian Gutierrez. Alexa Christine Murphy with honors and valedictorian. Sebastian Mateo Meza. Anna Marie Eckhart with honors and valedictorian. Landon Michael Ferris Emerson. Okay. Hector Ramirez. Lisbeth Enriquez. Kylie Ray Dickman. Peola Ailet Salas Zuniga. Reagan Harley Hereford. Emilio Joseph Campbell. Catherine Rose Palmer. Hector Carrillo Ambriz. Jocelyn Navarrete Campos. Anthony Viegas. Brian, Brian Madrigal Barrera. Yep. Right. <laughs> Orlando Trujillo. Brandon. Brandon Madrigal Barrera. Madrigal. Salvador Ricardo Penalosa. Amaya Yanali Alvarez. Talia Mayela Landin. Venus Natasha Gonzalez. <laughs> Just, there we go. Anthony Jonathan Edward Barnes. Alexis Joe Leathers. Benjamin Brian Wicks. Paige Opal May Bolin. Jonathan Bernard Godwin. Grant Mitchell Hills. Bradley Lopaka Bacon. Abigail L. Connor. Christopher Jean Dobler Jr. Jasmine Barrera Viacana. Andrew M. Cardenas. 
Blanca Flor Carrera Moreno. Tyne Ransom Findlay. Emily May Myers. Gavin Eugene Elwood. Gretchen Mariah Barton. Brianna Nicole Reyes Purcell. Madison Alice Christensen. Anae Mariana Avila. <laughs> McKenna Irene Christensen. Anaya Marie. Kaylee Sue Layton. Eliza Monique Rodriguez. Mason L. Davis. Lorian Ruth Mahan. <laughs> Nicholas Sonia Braden Stolman. Bridget Elaine Sanders. Michael Anthony Ramirez Jr. Alicia Michelle Kern. Adrian David Ramirez. Peyton Elizabeth Herman. Christian Oliver. Samson Johan Kokomor. Najoni Cecilia Atencio. Trevor James Kirkpatrick. Joanna Jimenez Morales. Keegan Parker Campbell. Ashley Vanessa Fuentes Carrillo. Jonathan Thomas Lee. Anna Laura Lemus. Melanie K. Cervantes Nare. <laughs> Michaela Whitney Nicole Shaver. Thank you. Melissa Hernandez. Jocelyn Sky Sidwell. Mariah Blake Moreno. Carson Page Olivas Hout. Madison Izel. Hector Matthew Siniceros. Tanner Randall Gucher. And the other one is simple. And Jameson Cole Lewis. Yeah. Jaylene Lopez. Sara Quintero Flores. Okay, who was that? Zan, that was it. Tanya Natalie Solorzano. <laughs> Isaac Jonathan Edwards. So don't talk about that. Leslie Gonzalez. Jeremy Scott Blanco. <laughs> Joanna Teresa Rodriguez. Lucas Juan Raimundo Lopez. 
Jesus Calderon Chavez. Micah William Stewart. Destiny Elizabeth Gomez. Alexis Gabriel Torres. Adolfo Angel Mendoza. Shay Annalie Stark. Jose Ambriz Ponce. Sarah Elizabeth Greiner. John Michael Lefay Blaise. Alina A. Garcia. Erica Giselle Pinto. Thank you. Jacob Lee Paulus. Savannah MJ Joy Shell. Rocio Viagrana Gayton. Bridget Ray Wisner Doherty. Juan David Jaimes. Kyle Derek Ashcraft. Destiny Darlene Corona. Ella Grace Machado. Logan Jonathan Springstead. Jasmine Karim de la Torre. Cameron Matthew Jones. Layla Marie Renfro. Carson Wesley Bradshaw with honors and valedictorian. <laughs> Isabella Quintero. Isaiah Cesar Sandoval. Stephanie Fernandez. Marilee De La Paz Hernandez. Ricardo De La Paz. Kendall Nicole Enners. Juan Absalon Diaz. Alexia Marie Serna. Nathan Almaguer Ibarra. Lindsay Cavalli Ula Pasena Little Sky. Mario Gabriel Pacheco. Islali Giselle Morfin. Alan Ramon Ramirez. Celine Santos. Victor Gabriel Flores Rios. Michaela N. Herrera. Isabel Elena Maria Herrera. Jesus Tejera Leonidas. Bianca Erilyn Sutton. Woo. Bianca Natalia Vargas. Raymond Lee Blacksnake. Shyla Rocio Ayala. Ashley Ayarim Esparza Chavez. Aiden Garay Munoz. Taylor Elizabeth Skinner. Kendrick Josiah Ramirez. 
Caitlin Marie Francis Bombela Post. Samuel Cadenas Suarez. Juan Gonzalez. Chase Michael Elliott. Aldo Alian Rivera Garcia. Caesar Barraza. Yahir Estrada Viagrana. Avant Ortiz. Giovanni Ledesma Almonte. Stephanie Carrillo. Victoria Barreto Ortega. Carla Noemi Canchola Abad. Amy Rodriguez Flores. Kaylee Shantae Billsboro. Brianna Giovanna Ramirez Guevara. Cordell A. Patrick with honors. Samantha Solorio Zuniga. Okay. Kyler Joshua Lowry. Jorge Sanchez Carrillo. Keegan Alexander McCann. Daniel Viagrana Rodriguez. Mark Anthony Childers. Chloe Jean Shearer. Devin Jameson Fisher. Dylan Scott Ditchin. Eric Lane Killingsworth. Angel Ann Califf. Dakota Spivy. Valerie Guzman Prado. Tyler Joseph Martinez. Hannah Anae Guardado. Raul Gutierrez. Frida Jaime Avila. Giselle Gonzalez. Annalie Michelle Sanchez. Kathleen Olvera. Jessica Rodriguez Alatore with honors. Roby Cotier. Okay. Josie Ellen Jane Spiva. Jesus Perez. Sebastian Armando Spiva. Aiden Christopher Anthony Olson. Jagger Michael Ruber. Kaysen K. Shelley. Zachary Lauren Epperson. Carson Jane Graham. Jose Ambris Viacana. Kyra Renee Gomez. Alfredo Jesus Perez. Jake Patterson. Alexis Ledesma Gutierrez. Joel Arturo Lopez. 
Brian Alexis Nava Mejia. Cameron Tyler Perkins. Kane Ortega Sanchez with honors and valedictorian. Aaron Ray Ransom. Fabian Rosales. Wiley McDougal Blackhurst. Efrain Avila Velasquez. Roland William Moore. Beautiful. Kayla R. Crawford. Zane D. Helfer. Davian Lucio Juarez. Courtney Ann Picard. Alejandro Mejia. Cheyenne Alexis Tropman. Gabriel Martinez Mendoza. Bryce Andrew Wilson. Cole McCoy Shelley. Caden Ray Henderson. Virginia Elizabeth Acevedo Sereno. Caleb James Irwin. Faith Hope Medlock. Ashton Lewis Romig. Rachel Rebecca Higgins. Landon Neil Newton. Caitlin Beth Ham. Jaden Lillian Skinner. Morgan Haley Wanch. William Avila Jr. Alyssa Morgan Kaiser. Alexis Antonio Sanguino. Blake Paul Wickers. Next, I would like to introduce Jessica Chavez Chiras for the farewell and the turning of the tassel. That took me a while, sorry. <laughs> Well, it's not here. Where's my speech? <laughs> here it is. Okay. Class of 2022, we have finally reached the end of our 13 year journey of public education. And as a reward, we get to sit here in these hot gowns with a $40 piece of cardboard on our head. We truly thought this day would never come, but at the same time, it came too quickly. 
Our class didn't have the traditional four years of high school. It was full of wonderful and exciting experiences, but at the same time, many hardships, uncertainty, and grief. Despite all of the trials and errors we have faced, we made it. We're here. Today marks the end of our high school experience. It's miserable and magical. Tonight's the night when we forget about the deadlines. It's time. <laughs> I congratulate all of us. <laughs> We are all here today, not only because of our personal efforts, but also because of our support systems and teachers. We are a product of what they have given us and done for us. We are here because of those who believed in us and who told us that we can do it, even when we had no reason to believe that we could. Going forward, you must never forget those who saw your potential and who encouraged you to believe in your dreams. Never forget those who helped you study and cram for important exams. It's okay to admit it, we all did it. Never forget Khan Academy, PhotoMath, SparkNotes, Wikipedia. Some of us might need to use them. <laughs> Most importantly, never forget those who believed in you and who helped you grow into the person you are today. And thank them. Thank anyone who has had even the smallest impact on your life. Because they believed in you, sometimes more than you believed in yourself. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, you must do the thing you think you cannot do. In your future, use these words as a reminder that you will succeed as long as you believe in yourself and are willing to take risks. But also remember that if at first you don't succeed, find out if the loser gets anything and then try again. <laughs> Today we say farewell. We say farewell to the family that we've built in school. We say farewell to the peers that we've seen all four years of high school through online learning and through learning in school. To the, to the peers that were either bullpups or, what was the other one? <laughs> for some of us, we're saying goodbye to peers that we've known for 13 years. We say farewell to Friday night football and themed basketball games in the doghouse. We say farewell to the lunch ladies and Java dog smoothies at lunch. We say farewell to mistaken, unexcused absences and bells that never ring on time. To Kat, Adrian, and Mark, who are always nagging us to get to class. We appreciate you. <laughs> and to classrooms that are either way too hot or way too cold. We say farewell to the underclassmen who steal our parking spots and the seniors who still can't park inside the lines. <laughs> we say farewell to our AP teachers who I swear were trying to kill us and to Miss Kim who always kept us updated on scholarships. We say farewell to interesting teacher stories and not so interesting teacher stories. Today, we say farewell. We also welcome a new chapter of our lives. Some of us are headed to college or trade school, some to the military, and some to the workforce. Wherever you are headed after today, remember that on this new and unknown path, you will inevitably make mistakes. Your future is uncharted territory, and you can't expect perfection the first time. There will be missteps, and that's okay. Vulnerability is brave, and picking yourself back up is powerful. From this day forward, remember, it's not about what life gives to you, it's about what you do with what's been given to you. And you have the potential to make something great. Everything will turn out how it's meant to be. After all, we're the class of 2022, and everything will be all right if we just keep dancing like it. <laughs> believe in yourself, believe in your dreams, and never be afraid to try again. And remember, once a bulldog, always a bulldog. <laughs> and I'll try not to mess up this time. <laughs> now it is my honor to lead in the turning of the tassels, which symbolizes the transition from Hermiston High School graduate to Herm Hermiston High School student to Hermiston High School graduate. Ahora es un honor para mí liderar en la Vuelta de las Borlas que simboliza la transición de estudiante de Hermiston High School a graduado de Hermiston High School. Classmates, class of 2022, please rise. Clase de 2022, por favor, levantense. 
turn your tassels from right to left, and congratulations! Woo! It's my pleasure to introduce.